is prompting the greatest love of nature possible. Lady Svetlana and her partner Fred Adams founded Feriferia, and it became recognized as an official church in the state of California in 1967. This was their passion. They lived to celebrate nature and its goddess. Feriferia celebrates Kore, a god that is woman, feminine, and divine. One day, Fred Adams felt her in the pit of his stomach. She wanted him to live in nature, and he and his friends took a truckload of overripe fruit and dumped it into a river. This was his conversion experience. He developed practices and taught them to others around him. They spent time in the San Gabriel Mountains, lying down in circular form, heads together and hands touching, and attempting to discern the spirits of fairy folk of the place. In the 60s and 80s, it expanded and developed, and now exists as a California religion we know today. According to doctrine, long ago, humanity broke its connection to the goddess and to nature, and so Fair Feria set out to repair this connection. To connect the earth with the body, the community engages in yoga-type techniques, as well as meditation and prayer about that particular moment in time. While grounded, a person will imaginatively travel and dig deep into that spot and moment with nature. This is called Kore Communion. This mindfulness is considered a daily practice. Until the breath of this corporeal frame, and even the motion of our human blood, almost suspended, we are laid asleep in body and become a living soul. While with an eye made quiet by the power of harmony and the deep power of joy, we see into the life of things. Rituals are now set and determined by what is happening in nature at a given time and are filled with fun and merrymaking in nature. According to Fred Adams, this system of seasonal festivals comprises what students of comparative religion call a mystery religion. Thus, the core of meaning can never be explained, but only experienced. Feriferia celebrates the sexual joining of Kore and Koros to honor the continual regeneration of life. Kore is the goddess, is the most ancient deity, and she is the one that promotes freedom and joy in nature. Daily life is spent modeling the way the Fae lived and trying to reconnect with certain spots people find themselves living in. It is achieving another level of mental connection to nature. Thus, man rejoins nature, and the spiritual connection with the goddess is complete. Feriferia and its beliefs are incorporated into daily life. That way, the community can always mindfully be connected to nature.